Hi guys, this is Frank, and uh, today I've got my apparition out. I've done a little bit of modifying to it um, to put a more reliable six cell setup in here. I put a 1600 watt outrunner motor, one of the ones that we use on a lot of our airplanes and stuff. Um, I've also changed out the ESC to one of the Hobby King 190 uh, 200 amp ESCs, and it's running on 6S. So let's go ahead and throw it in the water and see how it works. What? Wow. What? Definitely got better throttle response with this motor in there. I also have my uh, Voltron GPS unit in here. So hopefully it's recording what kind of speeds we're getting. So we'll take a look at that after we run the boat. I am taking a little bit of easy today because it is pretty hot outside. It's probably in the mid 90s out. So I got to do a couple cool down passes every, after every uh, high speed pass just to keep the motor and that from overheating. Uh oh, flipped it over. Gotta go get it. Fast now. Okay guys, let's check out the GPS unit and see what kind of speed we got. Looks like we got 53.4 miles an hour. Alright, now let's go ahead and check the temperatures with the Turnigy temperature gun. Alright, let's check that motor again. Alright, looks like the motor temperature is 146. 0.8 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Speed controller got pretty warm, 151 degrees, 151.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, one of the battery packs is uh, 121 and a half degrees Fahrenheit.
and the other one is 117.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's not too bad. Um, it definitely picked up some speed though. So it looks like it's running pretty good. And today is a really hot day, so that's not too bad in numbers actually considering how hot it is outside. Okay, now that we're back home and in the basement, I wanted to give everybody a closer look at the setup I got in the boat. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. I've changed out the stock motor, which was a, a 1600 kV in runner. I've decided to run the 1600 watt motor that we like to use on some of the airplanes that we build on our other channel on RC Foam Fighters. Uh, this is a Turnigy 36 millimeter by 48 millimeter motor and it's rated at 1450 kV. Um, this motor is like I said rated at 1600 watts so it's putting out about twice as much power as the stock motor that came with the boat. I'm running this on a six cell setup. Um, I've got two zippy 4000 milliamp 20C 3 cell batteries that I'm running in series and they're going through one of these Hobby King 190 200 amp speed controllers. Um, it looks a little different than what you would get it um, or how it would look when you get it. As I've taken it apart I took the heat shrink off of it um, just to make sure that the heat sink was contacting really good on the FETs. Um, I actually put a different heat sink on there as well. I bought one of the ones on Hobby King's site. It's actually for the Surge Crusher 90 amp ESC. It looked like it's got a lot better water flow because it's actually machined out instead of just drilled. So I replaced the other heat sink with this one and it seems like it's working pretty good. Um, like I said, we were running the boat in really hot weather. Um, it was probably about 95, 96 degrees outside and we've actually checked the water temperatures because it's been so hot for so long. Um, the water is actually around 95, 94, 95 degrees Fahrenheit as well. So it is pretty hot conditions for running boats right now. Um, this B, this ESC does not come with a BEC in it, so I'm running one of the Turnigy uh, 3 amp BECs. I think it has a burst rate of up to 5 amps, and it puts out a selectable 5 or 6 uh, volts. I've got mine set at 6 volts. Um, I have to run a separate battery pack. Um, the way I have it set up, so I'm using a Flightmax 800 milliamp 2 cell that I plug directly into the BEC. Um, this also helps cut down the amp draw on the bat on the main battery packs as well to allow more power to the motor and the, the power system. Um, one other big modification I did to the boat, um, when I first got it, it was porpoising a lot. And so I went online to find out you know more about it. And I noticed that there are some other catamarans out there that have the rudder centered on the hull that were having the same kind of problems. Um, one of them was the ProBoat Miss Geico and on that one there was a company that came out with a offset rudder that seemed to eliminate the problem. So pretty much um, I made up my own. I went to a Sears hardware store and I was able to buy some of these aluminum standoffs and I've got a couple different sizes here and I was able to offset the rudder by about one and three quarter inches by using these standoffs and some stainless steel screws. Um, the only piece I had to fabricate was this little aluminum plate here. Um, it's probably about an inch and a half forward so basically the standoffs are coming off here then it bolts onto the plate and the plate moves the rudder forward by about an inch and a half. Just offsetting it I tried it and the rudder was way out here and the boat's handling um, wasn't too great with it with the rudder out as far as it was in the stock position so I moved it forward by about an inch and a half so it's offset to the side by about an inch and three quarter and it's moved forward about an inch and a half and it seems like it works really good um, I've also changed out the water cooling system um, I fabricated this uh, piece here out of brass or bronze or whatever it is um, and just soldered it together with a piece of br uh, brass tubing and this way I get a lot more water pressure because the pressure is coming straight off the prop and going right up into the tube. I've also changed the hoses to the bigger hoses. Um, I did have to remove the, the piece that was in here for the original hose in order for me to drill it out big enough to fit the new hose and I'm running it straight to the motor cooling plate first 
because I wanted to keep the lines as short as possible and then it goes from there to the ESC and then from the ESC out to the side of the hull. So those are the main modifications that I've done to this boat and I'm pretty happy with the initial runs. Um, like I said um, earlier we looked at the GPS and it was clocking uh, almost 54 miles an hour which was pretty good I thought. Um, I haven't had a chance to take it out to the big lake or the bigger pond and run it yet. Um, we'll probably be heading out there sometime soon. I'm hoping the weather's going to cool off a little bit more so we can uh, run it wide open a little bit longer. Um, the Outrunner motor actually held up a lot better than I was thinking. I was thinking it was going to get a lot hotter than it did and uh, that's a good sign so that means I could probably push it a little bit harder a little bit later. Um, the prop I'm running on the boat right now is just a, a detongued, sharpened and balanced Octora X442. Uh, I may go up to a X642 later to if it, the weather cools down a little bit, get a little bit more pitch out of it. Um, hopefully pick up a little more speed. Um, well guys, that's pretty much all I've done to the boat as far as modifications go. And I'm pretty happy with the results so far. I will be doing more testing a little bit later. Like I said, we'll try to take it out to the bigger pond um, so I can get a little bit longer runs, see if I can get a little bit more speed out of it. All right, guys, I think this is a good spot to stop the video. So I'm just going to say thanks for watching. And we'll be posting more stuff out soon, so stay tuned.